guys, welcome to the Sonic R show. Um, I'm your host, Sonic Remix. Along, we got also Angel Lydia. Uh, Hi. We got Danny Phantom. Hello. Uh, Dust in the Wind. How's everybody doing? Kevin. Hello. And Lucas. So he couldn't be here at the moment. I'm taking his place for now. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Can you go get Lucas for us, please? Sure thing. Lucas! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and of course, I got my boys with me, Sonic and Shadow. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> I don't know where I'd be without these two, so. And just so you know, I planned this beforehand. I wanted to have been the cat stare into your souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we're going to, this is going to be a, a different kind of show tonight because uh i've been so busy all week that i have not had any time to curate any news articles so um we're just kind of winging this it's probably going to be a short shorter show because of that so we'll just kind of uh shoot the breeze uh talk about things that we we know about uh, I know we, we want to talk, I think we want to talk about a little bit about the Nintendo Direct that just aired recently and about certain big news that came out of it. Wow. Um, <laughs> and, and how it relates, and how it relates to Sonic, of course, because, you know, <laughs> why would we talk about Nintendo unless it's, there's a purpose to it? Oh, man. So we're going to start off with uh, what everyone's been up to all week. So, Ladisse, we'll start with you first. Okay, so, well, nothing much other than I went to um, shopping today at my hometown. Ooh. That's all. <laughs> nothing unusual. Well, as if I did manage to buy a couple of things, especially what I'm going to show you in a moment. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's Ooh. right. You you got uh you're gonna be doing some unboxing here today, aren't you? Yeah. And we got uh, got some nice stuff. Um, I believe you got some stuff for uh, what Sonic Revolution. Yeah. All right. So we actually got something for Sonic Revolution related tonight. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, this is what I do on my spare time. Like whenever, um, like, uh, whenever whenever I find something that's worth uh as a prize um like for a giveaway and stuff that i just keep it in a in a treasure box for later <laughs> yeah and then we get to hold them hostage during the show until uh we're ready to give them away <laughs> yeah no you're staying on with you it's it's the it's the big question every year every time we run uh sonic revolution when's when's the uh raffle when's the raffle when's the raffle it's always towards <laughs> the end of the, the show <laughs> what's in it for me it's the number one rule of business what's in it for me <laughs> <laughs> you can't have any prizes until you stayed the whole day <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it that's a good way it. you don't hear in the raffle <laughs> All right, uh, Danny, what you been up to? Pretty much more of the same, except I did a, I did a little bit more driving this past week, mm. and got a friend. Aww, he's so Aww. cute. He's so cute. Actually, I got two friends. Oh, <gasps> nice. They are very soft. Say, like they always say, you gotta have some all. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty much it for me. Yep. All right, Dust, what about you? Uh, a little bit more of the same. couple of differences, though. I uh, did a little watch party for uh, Survivor just premiering, as Eagle put it last week. Good friend Eagle did a little watch party for that. Um, also did a watch party for the uh, for the Nintendo Direct that had just passed on. Uh, community uh, coordinated an event there with the folks in the 182. Um, but other than that, yeah, just about more of the same. <laughs> awesome. Kevin, what about you? What have you been up to this the week? The new team has come in, and I'm so happy! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my old one pretty much 
guy to say the least could have picked it with all messing up. So yeah, but it was supposed to come out on Thursday, and then it got delayed till Friday. So yeah, it's all set up, and I'm very very happy with it. New <laughs> things are always so awesome to have. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, Lucas, what have you been up to? Oh boy, um, a rare occurrence. Nothing much. Ha ha. <laughs> because um, I have I didn't really do anything I didn't really do anything important lately just just you know working stay, staying home relaxing, um yeah and I did want to show off the big the cat plus um I, I've had this for a long time and yes it is autographed by John St. John himself the voice of Big the Cat and the voice of Duke Nukem, but other than that and that, that was like a couple of years ago but other than that nothing much has happened recently. The same old, same old. Oh, yeah. I, I hear that. Um, as for me, I've been, like, super busy just trying to do my job and trying to get stuff caught up. And uh, I just recently uh, celebrated uh, Maven this week, which everyone else knows as the, the Fall Equinox. Uh, we are uh, known in the uh, the pagan community as uh, Maven. So uh, I just mainly just made dinner. Uh, just special uh, dinner. I made a, a roast chicken, a roast citrus and herb chicken. It's like I brined it in like a um, a uh, mix of uh, orange juice, uh, lemon juice, uh, lime juice, and um, salt and sugar. And oh, it, it came out so good. Oh, that sounds uh, good. It sounds like it's sounds delicious. Really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it was even stuffed with uh, with the citrus. So. Uh, so I, I made that for Maven. And then the other thing is that I've, I've been kind of uh, working on a, another um, idea of mine. Because uh, one of the things I have, I have a really bad habit of doing is that I come up with all these project ideas and I start to work on them and then I abandon them after a week. <laughs> the life of a Gemini. Uh, am I right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> it happens way too often. <laughs> I'm a Gemini too. I leave it halfway and never finish it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about then. <laughs> I'm an Aries. Yeah. <laughs> so by, by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm an Aries. Anyone else? I'm a Scorpio. Leo Life. Capricorn. <laughs> 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 so anyway this idea is actually stemming from the fact that uh me and um my roommate who is my super best friend in the whole wide world we've been friends since we were uh teenagers uh been through everything thick and thin uh live together now so she's pretty much my partner without being romantically intimate so there's there's that uh but we love doing role plays. We love doing our one-on-one role plays, especially with Sonic and Shadow. Make up what you will with that. <laughs> Hence the Sonic and Shadow plus uh, he showed er- earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the other thing is that we like to do is that we love to play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we we love D and D, but uh, the problem is is that we don't know anybody locally and we just don't have the time to be able to organize anything online to do D and D. So it's kind of hard to do D and D, but we have plenty of time to do our one-on-one role play. So I'm trying a new experiment where we try, uh, where I'm actually setting up a kind of campaign, but it's meant to be for one-on-one role play. So, uh, we're going, we're going to try that with the D and D and do our one-on-one role plays and like, doing stuff based on dice rolls and all that and I don't know we'll, we'll see where it goes from there and see how that how that experiment works out oh by the way um, um, Eagle Cry just joined in we have our good friend Mr. Mm-hmm. Eagle Cry oh, yes. Yes. Eagle. Eagle. Yeah. Eagle. The Eagle. once uh, his camera loads once for me his... yeah, yeah. It is. yeah yeah, it's a loading for me as well because mm-hmm. yeah. okay, I know, you know. Some, I know sometimes it likes to hiccup yeah, oh, my yeah. it's all good mm-hmm. Discord, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Discord, everyone. Someone was going to say Oh, we yeah, lost them. He's, awesome. he's going to try to reconnect it and then oh, see what I, happens. Yeah. 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 Discord, everyone. <laughs> I, I swear, we, are, we need that sound clip so badly. We need 
We need, to, we're, we're, we're we need to like Bullock in here so that we, we can get Dr. Eggman to say that line on it's the, the air. It's his mm-hmm. version of seems legit. We're good to Isn't it? Um, no. Still nothing. Oh, nothing. no. What's going on? Just give it some time. Yeah. It'll pop up okay. sooner or later. Yeah, sooner or later. We apologize, everyone. We're expe- we're experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Twitch stream without technical difficulty, would it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what? Nothing. While we're while we're waiting on Eagles Cry, uh, Ladise, how about we uh drop a, about information about the new uh, donation through Coffee? Oh yes. Um, we set up a Coffee page, uh, Sonic Revolution. Um, that's for um, if you like to donate and help us with the um, uh, with whatever I mean to run a convention that uh, go- that will be for next year because um, since the uh, pandemic we like the the ticket sales just stopped and we really relied on ticket sales for to pay for the venue expenses and the travel lodges um, tra- um, the, the travel and it- um, large expenses like when we invite out of state people like Mike Pollock and and also out of city. Um, and uh, oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> it's, it's linked in the description below. Just, click on yeah. the link below, guys. Guys, well, not click on the link, but you see the link, you see the uh URL below us. It's not clickable <laughs> right now, but you see the URL. Type it in. Or and copy, the, oh wait, you can't copy and paste it. Yeah. Or somebody you can't or, do that. Like, somebody or somebody type it in, 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 in the Twitch chat so that way they can copy and paste yes. it or click on it. Right. Yeah. So I can't that. And also uh with the, the, the money um collected, uh it will actually go through well one of them is the the price of oh, the oh, 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 Yay! Finally. Hey. Awesome. Ladise, before we get back to you, yes. Eagles Cry. Right. How you been doing? What have you been up to? Uh-oh. 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 No, no sounds. No sounds. Mike. No sounds. You can't hear uh-uh. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't hit. We're all good at listening. Oh, no. We have no sound. Your mic is dead. <laughs> That's all right. You can cut. Nobody can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's good. That's good. That's good. You, have to, you have to make sure you're breaking something in the background, though. You got to make sure you're doing that. <laughs> Uh uh. That happened to me. No, no, no. <laughs> Try seeing if Discord changed your mic input because it yeah, loves to yeah, do that. that's happened to yeah, so. that's what happened yeah. to me. Because I don't know BS to me. Whenever I'm streaming, every time my webcam hooks up, it tries to go to its microphone and I'm just like, oh, yeah, God that sake. is true. It's like, oh, for God's I mean, yeah, sake, because OBS. like it happened on a few occasions when um I'm using this headphone. Today it worked fine because I already tested it out and everything. Yeah. But in, in the in the past occasion it, it wasn't reading this one. I'm like, hey, why? Like... I have to restart the Discord <laughs> um program again. Yeah. Yeah. Happens more often than I would like, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that's happened to me before, so we all been there. We all been there. Mm-hmm. If we ever have like a somewhat of a uh, soundboard here, then the one the first thing we're we're, we're getting is having Mike Pollock saying Discord everyone. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. first thing we yeah. added yeah. to the soundboard. First thing. <laughs> yes. Number one priority. priority. <laughs> yes. Until we get Mike Pollock. Until 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 we get Mike Pollock in as a guest potentially. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's hope so. Someone asked in the chat room, is the United Federations a democracy? That's my friend Delta right there. Uh, oh, interesting question. I, I mean, gun? <laughs> I, um, I, I'm assuming... We could do it, 
Or you could Google it. I mean, I'm assuming United Federation is modeled after the United States, so I would assume it's a I'd republic. Imagine, yeah. Yeah. Let's check what we have here. Oh yeah, never mind. You already answered. Um, somebody asked if, if it was a Chicago Blackhawks jersey, and no, no it was a Florida Panthers. <clears throat> Florida Panthers. <laughs> Florida. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite hockey teams. Nice. Of course, I'm from the Tampa area, so I'm legally required to like the lightning. I bet they're celebrating like crazy. Oh my god, back to back champions! Oh my gosh. My favorite team just won the year prior. I'm a Blues fan. My Blues just took it for the first time, so I can only imagine where y'all are at. Double right. Good stuff. Now on the topic of sports, what sports do you enjoy watching? I don't, but you know, like I said, I'm from Tampa Bay area, so I'm legally required to like a the Tampa team. So the fact that Tampa has got championships all around the area, just like you know, ba the baseball, Tampa Bay Rays, you know, the Bucks, mm. do, you know, <laughs> the lightning, uh, lightning. Moment. Yeah, it's just like they just been winning championships all around. Yeah, be a champion. <laughs> I mean, and... Rays didn't win win World Series, but you know they yeah. they got as far as they did. So yeah, oh yeah, they I'm they made start. it really really far. I thought they might do it. I mean, right now my mom is right now my mom is a huge <clears throat> sports fan when it comes to like football, basketball, and baseball. I mean, right now she's she's what like every weekend she always has to watch a football game whenever it comes on, <laughs> and baseball is on like every other like every yeah, night. Yeah, of course, yeah. So. Uh, and of I, course, my mom's a Braves fan, so right. Yeah, what can I say? Yeah, maybe happy. <laughs> Best I, of luck to them. They've got their work cut out for them. I, <laughs> I, 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 hey, they're number one. Yes, they are number one. In, they are number one in their in their division. So, but remember, I, that's a conference that has uh, San Francisco yeah. in it. I I had said that if the Rays had won the World Series, then does that mean Tampa Bay won the Triple Crown of sports events? Pretty much, oh, yeah. Right, maybe. <laughs> Minus the NBA because it was um, that was the Lakers, of course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I thought I evil. heard some noise outside, so I had to check. Oh, it was pretty before. loud. I watch all so, the yeah. four majors, and I have a different favorite from each 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 league. I have a different favorite from a different city. It's kind of crazy. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. He does. Can't confirm. St. Louis for yeah. hockey. LA Angels for baseball. Uh, San Antonio for basketball and uh, for football. God help me, Cleveland. God help me. <laughs> I mean, they're looking good this year. So that's a very Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. It. Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns. Oh, Browns. Right. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> no, no one took the Tamp. No one took uh, the Bucks seriously for many, many years. Oh yeah. I mean, when it comes to NFL, Crazy like Bills, my mom just. I wouldn't I be least... crying. I think they've got it. <laughs> I think when it comes to NFL, my mom honestly doesn't even know. As long as there's like members from Alabama, still root for them. But other than, other than that, she probably she won't root for any team that has Tom Brady involved. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, your Tampa Bay Buccaneers now has Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was yeah. on board with I was... I was totally on board. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Better than Buck, but better than Bucks and the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about the Bucks. I do know. I do know. I didn't know about the Patriots. I, I kind of. Yeah. You know, it's funny because uh, you know, I I I got divorced from my ex husband, and his team was the Patriots. So oh, no. that, when we right got call. divorced, I pretty right much call. took Tom yeah. Brady yeah. with me. <laughs> I got divorced yeah. and took Tom Brady with me. <laughs> I'm taking. I'm taking the quarterback with me in the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and she's laughing like, now, huh? And then. And then they Gronk, right? So and don't then take Gronk, Gronk go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the cherry on the Sunday, right? There. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you can't have Tom Brady without Gronk. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but it'd be different. <laughs> well, basically, Gronk is Tom Brady's right hand man. What can you say? Yeah. So wait, what? So wait, where? So, so what were we talking about before we got interrupted? Um, okay, so. Well, um, I, uh, I know. We're waiting for Eagle. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we were waiting for Eagle, 
I guess Eagle's still having technical difficulties, so we're going to get over to the d unboxing event. Woo! Yes, yes. <laughs> By the way, um, I'm so glad that, that, that you're holding a baton with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can, now, you, now you can conduct the whole orchestra. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you can make your own song symphony. So you better not be playing Christmas songs yet. <laughs> you already no. got enough problems with that in the That's hotel. Who are we? <laughs> <laughs> if okay, you're playing This is Halloween, me. I would sit back and relax. Yes. Nightmare Before Christmas, man. That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah. I could go there when I have, get the chance to Disneyland. Oh, oh paper. So... Lots of, paper. <laughs> Lots of paper. Lots of paper. Yeah. Okay. Forward it in the box. It's time okay. to play. Okay. Shit what we got here? <laughs> what? Oh gosh. No! The camera froze. No! 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 Hey, very nice. All right. That's cool. The yeah, a, I bought two. One is for me, and the other one is going to the raffle. Mm -hmm. Nice. But yeah, oh, it's just, that's a good one. I bought this for myself. Idea. This is for okay, me. Okay, I, I have an idea. I have, a, I have a cool idea. If you have like a Sonic like face like mask for COVID, and you wear that <laughs> for to sleep with, yeah, just combine them. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see. It says, "Don't disturb." <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. Nice. It's pretty cool because like it's reversible. So like for this, and then yes. there's this. Oh, yes, cool. that's really cool. Actually, that's okay, very yeah. very cool. Nice. Okay, so the next one. This is what I use for my bus pass. Ooh. Oh. 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 This is where you put a, a card in there. Because, oh, wow. like, here in LA, we have, uh, we use the tap system. And so, we just, um, we just tap on, on the, uh, the machine, like, uh, on the bus stop or on the train station. And nowadays, since they have introduced the, um, a ride share called Metro Micro, um, I, I used this to pay for my fare as well. Nice. So, like I have my like I, I travel like in a small mini bus or something like that, and then there's this. <gasps> oh, it's a backpack. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. I have one, but it's like somewhere in the attic. It's the one I, I I've carried. Oh, I have one like this, so it's big. Oh shoot! Uh, hang on, Ladise. I just just lost your video. Oh, really? Yeah, I was trying to expand it, and... Oh, there we go. There we go. You're on. You're on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll show it again. This one. Yeah. I won't open it because, like, I won't even... I've yeah. actually expanded your video, so if you want to show the other stuff again so people can see it better. The other stuff? Sure, sure. Yeah. Let's see. I'll just put it down there. <laughs> So here's the the mask again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reversible. Yeah. Don't disturb. Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I bought two. But one is for me, and this is going to the raffle for next year. And then yes. For next year. All right. And then this, this. That's so cool. It's, yeah. Anyway, and oh, 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 the next one. I bought two copy of this. One is for me, and one the other one is going to the uh... the raffle. Yeah. Oh, awesome. so... um, I I want so what everyone's is. been wanting. So this is... So this is uh, I'll be throwing this one in there as well because this is what came with Ooh, the um, book. Oh, that's cute! Gonna, oh. I'm gonna have to put this off because one is for me and the other one's dirty. Oh. I'm doing this for your guys' sake. 
for years. But... Mm -hmm. The keychain, acrylic keychain. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's nice. cool. That's awesome. That came with the um bonus exclusive for Ami Ami. That's the really website I Ooh. go to I, I order from online. No nice. seems like a good autofocus. Wow. Wow. And let's see. Oh, let me pick this. There are two boxes of this. <gasps> they were... oh, my oh, oh my gosh! The whole yes. Package. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Oh, that's cool. The whole kit and caboodle, man. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, your video just froze. Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. Oh no! There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I'm trying to remove the wrapping. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> so while we wait, let's. Oh, no. oh, never mind. I, no, I no. Okay. So, <laughs> Hang on. this is without the. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You no, know I'll have to turn off the light. Probably it will look better without the glare. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say that ring light's not helping. Yeah, That's it's not. Good. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah that is oh, that is awesome. That, that, that looks so cool. That, that is, is amazing, dude. Amazing. Yes, and it's like, like usually I have to carefully open it. Yeah, yeah. you gonna show us what all's in it? Yes. Let's yes. Go. This one was actually they did the um. I remember. I think they only showed what was part of it. Uh, what came inside the uh, the anniversary box. Okay, got it. I'm telling you this one. You, you're also going to showcase what's what what might what 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 might be potentially be in next year's raffle. Yeah, yeah. It comes with the game. It's also a PS4, PS4 game. So if you have a PS4, um, you'll be lucky. And there's the uh, I think that's the soundtrack. <gasps> oh, it even comes oh, with the soundtrack too. Nice. Wow. Mike in Sonic's world. Oh, nice. I'll just open it. Yeah. Now I was waiting for that to be downloadable. Oh, I love the oh, artwork. Like whole, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That is dope, man. Oh man. Like the full the full picture and everything. That's yeah. really, really oh, amazing. That's so cool. yeah, everybody been trying to get that art art book. Yeah, and like I said, it does come with the C D D O C oh like this side. Oh, I see the tracks like, are all in um, Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, but it also has the English one. Oh, um, okay. It's just a small letter. Yeah, I can't even read that. Like, what, yeah, yeah. what songs are coming on it? Yeah. There's the, uh, let's see, the 2010. Oh, it does have the, it says here on, on track two, Char Garden Dark for Sonic Adventure 2. So it has like all the the some of the so soundtrack from past thirty years. So okay, oh, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Well, that's yeah, a pretty nice. good collector's item. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, and whoever it. wins, oh, oh, whoever oh, wins oh. that in raffle is gonna be extremely lucky. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 They better buy a they better buy a lottery <laughs> ticket to go with it. Okay, the okay. next one. Better buy a lottery ticket to go with it. Oh, oh shiny! Shiny, shiny, shiny. Shiny. <laughs> no matter what it is, as long as it's shiny. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, shiny. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice. The gold coin. Yeah. And there's the, nice. the back of it. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh, that Very could be nice. good. That might be good for, like, a, I, I, I wouldn't say coin toss, but, like, Oh, Tug. You, yeah, it is. <laughs> the whole, you use your whole hand to flip it off your fingertips and then. No, no. hey guys, do you remember Pogs? Yes, I remember yeah. Pogs. Oh, Pogs. Yes. Oh. And like, there's always this heavy coin in which you have to, like, um, toss it to all the cardboard po Pogs. 
Okay, and this is blank. This is. And I'm sure everyone who's younger than us by about 10 years will be like, what are pogs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pogs. Mm. Oh. That's 90 kids. And last but not least. Oh. 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 It's, just like the, it's just like the same uh, on the CD. It's just the yeah. printed wow. book. Uh, oh. they have a printed oh. book? Yes, the printed oh. book. Oh, oh my gosh. You got the whole, the whole cover and everything. Much like you said, the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think whoever wins that for the raffle is, yeah, you're right, is going to be like the luckiest person ever. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. yeah. That's the one thing that probably everyone's and I'm, going I'm for. I'm going to enjoy every moment of reading off, <laughs> reading off that raffle. I'm going to read it over and over again. I'm going to be like, okay, Eight, two, five, one, <laughs> five, <laughs> ooh, one, one, two. two. Oh! <laughs> now, now, we're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna win it, you gotta wait. It's like you gotta you know you gotta. This is cute. <gasps> oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cute. I think it's working now. Oh, yep, we got so you. Here we go, sir. Close the Halloween, so it fits perfectly. Oh, that is Find so me, hey, 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 hey. Find me something with, sh with shadow in it. <laughs> Let's see. I'll find one. Let's see if there is one. It might take a minute, but we'll find one. <laughs> yeah, we'll find it. Mm. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Yeah, there we go! Maria. I've seen that picture before. Shadow Maria. I've seen that picture before. I can't remember where though. Sonic Channel. Same here. It was going, um, it was going on, on Twitter. Twitter. It's, it's like written in Japanese, ago. but I think there's like, like what, like behind the scene, like what goes into illustrating. Oh, that's oh cool. wow! Oh wow! That is amazing. That that is very nice. And yeah, let's see what else. Oh, this is Halloween themed. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Oh, and I just realized that Big the Cat is in the picture. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, really? oh, oh, God, there he is. Yeah, right there. Like, He's just stalking out like Don't, don't let him take your soul. Don't let him take your soul. <laughs> Hi there. Remember, guys, if you want to, if you want it's a chance to win here. this, you gotta go to Sonic Revolution. Mm. Yes, you have to. Let's see, there's a yes, lot. Indeedy. Oh, and this is the, the one that's been. Oh yeah, I've seen oh, that one before. Yeah, I, nice. I think I've, I've seen that. That looks adorable. I think these are artworks that were tweeted before. Like, I yeah. think on the official. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I say the official, mm -hmm. the Japanese official. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I, I think you're right, because I think I've seen, you know, a couple like that yeah, retweeted. I, I, I've seen yeah. them before. Yeah, what's interesting about this is that um, from what we heard um, is that, um, you know, the the, the Cape, the rope that Sonic is wearing is from the um, the one they took picture at the uh, what's it called the what's that name of that place uh, of that um Sega arcade game uh, arcade place. Oh, oh, you mean Joyopolis? There you go. Okay. Joy yeah. yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, which surprisingly <laughs> is named after the uh, voice recording company that is. Responsible the modern voice actors for Sonic. Mm. Coincidence? Mm. I think not. Yeah. Also, I, so... also, I saw this uh, funny comment from Michael the Wolf Twenty Five says, "Have you seen Froggy as he proceeds to murder you?" <laughs> <laughs> That's, what the new, That's what the new. That's what the new Halloween movie is going to be about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Move oh, over, no. Michael Myers. Okay, okay. Move over. You can really make the cat is the villain. I can't see that. 
<laughs> so yeah, this this is it from the uh this box. But I still have more to show. Yes. Oh, oh. Well, wait, there's because more. today I went to um I, I went to do some errands and I wasn't expecting much when I stopped by at GameStop. So to my surprise, I'll just put it here. What did you find at GameStop? <laughs> 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 Ooh. Oh, very nice. Right. Oh, nice. Wow. Yes. The pin. The big yes. pin. We are not worthy. <laughs> and then there's tails. <laughs> tails. Oh, there's tails as well. And also... Oh. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah, I'm like, I game. was not oh, expecting oh to God. see this at GameStop. Yeah, they did re-release Got... that fairly recently, actually, and I think it's a GameStop. Yeah. But way... knowing GameStop, like, um, usually yeah, I I can't find some Sonic... I mean, usually I, I do get lucky finding some Sonic stuff. Like, for example, um, the... What was it called? The, um, the Funko Pop? I was lucky to get some of those, yeah, and also cool. the, um, what was it called, the Diamond, the Diamond Select of um, Sonic and Tails figures. They're, they're more like, like miniature statues that, mm -hmm. um, that will raffle up uh, like a few years ago. Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, 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 I swear, yeah. when we do these shows, you gotta you gotta show off something new that, that you're gonna be raffling off next year. <laughs> Maybe not every week, well, I, but <laughs> anytime you get something. I mean, new. I mean, I do, I do have one, but I'm not gonna show it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I do I have one it. that I Super bought like one. a few Surprise, months ago. That wasn't one. part of the, uh, the, 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 that was released like back in July, I guess. Yeah, I think it was July that I actually got that, but. I'm not even gonna show it. Probably next year. Because it's also another Funko Pop. Oh yeah. But yeah, I'm not even oh. And also this is for me. Oh my nice. oh, oh nice. They also have um oh. Tails and Knuckles, but I, I prefer with Right by Sonic. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, well, a quick question. Um are any of you familiar with the uh, the commercial for the Sonic 3 Blast Tiger game? Yeah. Mm, no. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then for some people who who um <laughs> who are too young to remember the Tiger games that released back in the day, it's like that was that was kind of a thing for us kids to want to get their, our hands on, even though yeah. they're they're inferior to like the Genesis games, but we still want to get our hands on it because it's Sonic and we want to play it. The yeah, graphics. Indeed. The graphics. Look, One, the bit graphics, graphics. Like a... One bit graphic. One bit graphic. That's pretty much what. That's pretty much it. One bit graphic. I, I remember the song very clearly. Half bit, core bit, the oh, wrist yeah. games. Oh no. So. I couldn't resist. Yeah, and those predated also the. Uh... Hmm. And okay. after Tiger Electronics, T Tiger had still tried to make more consoles, but I don't know if they'll if they'll ever die out. Um, so I guess we want to, uh, you know, speaking of games, I guess we want to talk about the Nintendo Direct a little bit, uh, because I I guess this uh I I never got a chance to watch it, so I don't know. I haven't been I haven't quite caught up to speed on what's going on, but I did hear something about. Uh, the fact that Genesis games may be released onto the Switch. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and in 64, but... That's yeah. The, that's going to be part of a new expansion pass to your already existing Nintendo Online uh, subscription. So. Yeah. By the way, um, I think... 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the last Nintendo console that actually had Sega support was the original Nintendo Wii. I don't think they had any for the um, for the Wii U, or they may have. I don't know. But since the Wii U, they didn't have Sega support at all for Nintendo. Maybe for maybe games, but not not on console. They didn't have any for the Wii U, like virtual console for the Wii U. But finally, with the Switch, they can now have Sega Genesis games on your Switch. So therefore, mm. we get to say goodbye to the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. But didn't they already um discontinue the service on the Nintendo Wii like yeah. like five years ago or something? Years, yeah, like that? years ago. Yeah, I think it was like yeah. three. Actually, yeah. it was actually like three years ago. So. Three years ago? Yeah, yeah it felt like, like five. That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I the Wii U, um, I think it's still going or not. I'm not sure, but um, it sort of is, sort of isn't. Yeah, yeah. I but can't remember like the 3DS one. Yeah, because the DS, there, like, there were a couple of games that were on the Wii and some were on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, despite the fact that that's our Sonic related news regarding Nintendo Direct, that's not what people want us to talk about right now. Now is it? <laughs> Get your salt shakers, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Get ready. Uh, Are you ready, Air Dad? Because we're uh, working. All up. right, so we, we all know what we're truly here for. All right, let's address the alpha in the room. That is Chris Pratt as Mario. <laughs> he's he's Star Lord for crying out loud. <laughs> <sighs> or Emmett, or Emmett, if you like, if you like Lego, but if you're a Marvel fan like myself. Freaking Star Lord! Yeah. Why? Hilarious. Sonic it's like I, I love. I, I, that out the chat. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Marvel. It's like I, I love Chris Pratt as Star Lord, but really, Mario, really, really. You had a whole list of A-listers. Yeah, my you first, him. my first thought yeah. when they released the cast was just like, well, that's not an odd choice, but uh, okay, can't see where this goes. But wait, it gets odd. It gets even more odd, because the one moment that made me laugh during the cast reveal for this Mario movie, Jack Black voicing Bowser. Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> I, can I, I can't I really even right it. now. Yeah. I need to see that. Oh, yeah, he's, voiced, definitely. he's voiced by Poe the Pet. He's voiced by anybody who's ever watched, uh, who's ever played the game Brutal Legend, I actually could see, you know, Jack Black <laughs> in this. I could, I could actually see it. Oh. The real thing I'm there curious about is already Michael, with Jack Black. Toad. I know, right? Uh, like, <laughs> excuse me. A A Ron is Toad. <laughs> You know, it's funny because someone accidentally said, had, was uh, talking about uh, the, the voice cast and they accidentally said that um, Jack Black was Toad. And I'm like, oh, I could see that. But then somebody's like, no, he's actually Bowser. I'm like, wait, what? That would be, that would be questionable. That would be questionable. <laughs> I mean, um, what? Excuse me? It works. <laughs> like, uh, and then, pardon? Mm. But if you think that's odd enough, get this. Donkey Kong voice by Seth Rogen. I, I can see it. Yeah. So now we're wondering who uh, Diddy Kong and or Bowser Jr. is going to be voiced by. Oh, boy. <laughs> Assuming they go that far. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't even know they're going to be in it or not. So. But let's just hope that Wire and Luigi are voiced by Charles Martinet because they did point out that Charles Martinet is going to make a cameo in the movie somehow. But we don't know who. Right. Uh, Andre, uh, the black nerd, had already suggested maybe he'd be like uh, Wario or Luigi. Like. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sonic fans. Sonic fans says Cranky Kong is going to be in it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, but yeah, now that's not. Yeah, so, it's just. Yeah. Um, so we did. Sorry, you're in. So, how does this this voice cast stack up to the casting with the Sonic movie, Sonic movie two? Uh, I mean, how does it compare? Do you think? Um, um, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a it's a wait and see. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a I thing have... you have to wait and see how they meld together as a cast, you know? You kind of I just mean, have to wait and see how it goes. There's really not much to say until we actually hear what they sound like. I if agree. It was a Sonic movie, the, it was the original design that got the backlash. Not mm -hmm. yeah, not mm -hmm. that good, I mean, I can yeah, I can see the that. animation being almost top notch because it's Illumination. I mean, Illumination's pretty good with their animation, to be honest. They made, yeah, yeah. That's what I agree mm -hmm. with. But let's not forget, they're the same company that also provided us the Minions. Mm -hmm. So keep this in mind. They've already worked with annoying creatures before, <laughs> the Rabbids. So now I'm hoping at some point Mario and gang are going to team up with Gru and the Minions. <laughs> I, I doubt Both that's going to happen. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't yeah, 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 that's curb your expectation mm, a little bit on that yeah. one. Yeah, like Gary, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I was saying curb your expectations a little bit on that. <laughs> yeah, no, not going to do. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not completely pull vault the shark just yet. Yeah. Just yet. <laughs> Let's, let's give let's it some just... time to marinate before we just fling it to the wolves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait. So, and while 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 we were watch while I was watching this, I I saw like Anya Taylor Joy's piece. I was like, who is she? Like, what has she done? And then it turns out that Dust. You want to explain? She was uh, one of the uh, lead roles in the M. Night Shyamalan film Split. Take that as you will. <laughs> I did not see that, so I couldn't tell you anything. Yeah. It was, I, I saw it. It was, it was meh. It was okay. It wasn't great, but. Were audience split it, over it? <laughs> it seemed like it. It was either you love it or hate it, kind of. Yeah. But I don't know. My family watched it. They loved it. They were just like, "Wow, this is actually a good Shyamalan film." Because they hate him, nice Shyamalan. It's like, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It I is mean, is. the Sixth Sense that was an incredible movie. Um, um, Sonic, did you say something about um? You like? I like you Signs. Like the, uh... I like Signs. Signs was my my the only uh, Shyamalan movie I actually liked. So. Unbreakable was mine. I really, and that's what they tried to make Split as, as like a sequel, a spiritual sequel to Unbreakable. And I'm just like, no, oh. no, that's a no, no. <laughs> if it was its own thing, it'd be fine. But it's like you're gonna just take one of your most successful films and just try to cash in on it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. did I hear that eagle? Uh -oh. Maybe. Mm -hmm. is that yeah, it's this eagle. Maybe is trying eagle. to make yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe. Get it. Get it. I hear I the moment of truth. I hear things, I just don't see things. I nope. I Oh no. Oh, what, we hear you loud and clear. We can hear yeah. you. We hear you, we just can't see mm -hmm. you. Yeah, maybe work with it. Come on, come on, camera! Come on, camera! Come on, camera! Come on, camera! Wake up, Discord! Wake up! Yeah! 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 Um, up until then, <laughs> I've been doing pretty fine. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. New, new, new Survivor season dropped. I got to watch that. I did a watch party on my server. I don't know. It was a fun time this week. So maybe I, I have a question. Maybe if like anyone is like maybe jumping in now, or for people like me, uh, is there like any recap you could possibly like provide? Uh, you didn't miss too much. We um, we were talking about sports sort teams in Florida a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, uh, we did an unboxing. Uh, uh, Lise did an unboxing. A uh, whole bunch of stuff. Look at her. Look at her mask. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. whole bunch of stuff and that she unveiled that uh it's gonna be at the raffle uh, for sonic revolution next year um and somebody's gonna be super super lucky to win uh one of those items so it's gonna be ah! <laughs> we also talked about a bit of the uh, nintendo direct and just when you showed and right when you showed up we were uh, we were still talking about 
the uh, casting for the upcoming Mario movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually that's actually something like I wanted to bring up, like in the context, I guess, of Sonic News too, because I know there's been a whole discussion on Twitter, like with the Mario casting versus like how Sonic movies cast so far from like yes. the first movie and the second movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think there's like a worthy discussion there. Oh yes, I would uh, like to hear more about that that, that comparison because okay. I started to bring that up and just like yeah so what have you heard as far as the comparisons are going on uh i i guess um if i can start things off i guess for everyone else to mm -hmm. pitch in on mm -hmm. um oh i know the big debate especially like with the mario casting thanks to illumination in part is the celebrity stunt casting you know to cast a celebrity for the sake for the voice role for the sake of mainly advertising in any trailers and stuff you, we've seen it we've seen it with you know the the trolls and we've seen it with space jam mm -hmm. in particular uh angry birds movie illumination, yeah angry birds and illumination oh, yeah. of course has oh, been yeah. doing it for, like every single movie like sing despicable me all those things uh versus like uh but with the sonic movie at least with the first one uh we all know that they cast bench sports for sonic and they have uh oh my gosh i can't even remember his name for tom <laughs> Oh. James Marsden. James yeah, James Marsden. Marsden. James Marsden. Yeah. yeah, you know, two two stars. But I think the same guy uh, also did Hop. Yeah, but if you were to compare the two, like I guess stars of each movie with like Sonic and Mario with Chris Pratt and Ben Schwartz, I'd say that uh, with Chris Pratt, he's definitely more of like an A list celebrity. Like he's almost he carries more star power. Versus, yeah, versus Ben Schwartz, who I mean, he's he's well known in his own right, but he's also done a lot of voice work before that, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And a bunch of other cartoons. DuckTales. DuckTales. Yeah, yeah. DuckTales. And, you know, I, I believe they really did just cast him for, you know, his voice. Especially because uh, Sonic has a history of recasting uh, Sonic characters. And I just think it made sense with the movie. As well as other types of casting, like Idris Elba uh, for Knuckles. Which, I guess, I to me, even though it's like another star, it's not like as a big of a profile. And I think they really did it because of the voice. So yeah. I don't know. What do you? What are? Yeah. What is everyone's opinions on like those two comparisons and like the the star power type of relations between the two types of movies? I mean, yeah, I it's think, ex uh, to be expected, to be honest, because that's what we've been seeing more and more of lately. Is that you get mm -hmm. all these uh, celebrity voice actors to voice these uh, these these animated characters, and like, it was really noticeable with uh, the Angry Birds movie because it's just like <laughs> I, I saw the all these uh, celebrity voice actors and, like. Sean Penn is just like, mm. it's like why? <laughs> it's like oh, no. why? You had to get Sean Penn just to do that. I mean, I mean, technically, we, who technically do you think he is? Ben Diesel. <laughs> I am rude. Don't give him any ideas. Oh so no. Okay. No, you mentioned that because Chris Pratt is known for Star Lord. I thought that maybe one of the streams or one of the Goombas is voiced by Groot. Vin Diesel. Oh, gosh. You never know. Mm. I am, I am Shroom. Oh no! Dare oh, I build well, this so into cool. the world? What, what if they? Thinking? Oh god! What if they put him as somebody like I don't know, like Wario or Waluigi? Oh or lord! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! If anyone from Illumination is watching this, no, 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 no. But here's the thing, because like I mean, you know that those big star actors, um, like they, I mean, they do like live action, but right. there's a comparison between live action. And then there's the animation because not the same. I'm like because like when it's live action, you they they have to express um the uh, their the facial expression. They have right. to show the facial expression. But when it's like behind an animation uh, inside the booth, when they have to do the voice, they the, it's different. And also it depends on the uh, the character they're supposed to be in. And so. I mean, because if, if they have to, like, Chris Pratt, who has to do the voice of Mario, he has to pull off something that sounds familiar to Mario. Kind of like when, um, um, with Sonic, there has been several actors, voice actors have done Sonic in the past, and they had to sound almost identical to the past actors. And and that's a that's a very hard thing to pull off because you have to get the voice. 
Jeff and, Ryan. And I know, I know in the, I, I saw a tweet somewhere that, uh, that people in the voice acting community are really upset because it, fa- it feels like this is just low balling and, uh, uh, the, uh, the, vo- the voice acting community who, uh, whose talents specify in voicing animated characters, but they're going to grab right. these, these actors who are more accustomed to live action stuff to mm-hmm. voice yeah. these characters yeah. where the voice actor can do a much better job of it. Well, here's the yeah. thing, though. Um, I'm also... I, I, I'm a voice actor myself, and sometimes when you're voice acting, you you can also express with movements behind a microphone. <coughs> so, in a way, it's kind of like... It's kind of like doing it in, in a live-action movie, but you're only restricted with... You're only restricted to being inside a booth with a mic, with a mic by you, and... Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. There's is a difference between live action and, and voice acting. Completely different. But uh, well, yeah. however, in ter- but also in terms of voice acting, um, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, a well-known voice actor, is in the movie as Namek. And Kevin Michael Richardson, still, that's it. That's the one guy who has a pro- he has a career in voice acting. I don't know if he's on live action anything. But he's well known in voice acting, so at least we have one professional voice actor who's going to be in the movie. But I think the mm-hmm. overall like different conversation is like casting because purely for voice talent and ability to play the character behind the mic, or versus just casting simply because they're a big name. Right. I'm like thinking the that name. they're leaning towards a big name because, like, as soon as they say, "Oh, they're that big Hollywood actor is going to be in that animation movie." And I'm like, oh, we're going to need to see it and how it's going to be. I mean, that's one part of, like, uh, of the audience. The other part of the audience is like, is he going to, is he or she going to pull it off? I'm like, we well, know them for doing live action. Um, I will say that there, there's quite a few of them that have been known to do voice acting in the past. I mean, Chris Pratt has done voice acting in the past uh, with Lego Movie and, and uh, Onward. And- um, hmm. Keenan Michael Keys has also done voice acting before, I believe. Oh, yeah, Toy Story Four. Oh, that's right. Keenan Peel did the. I I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah. It, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, while we're on the topic, there actually was a relevant uh tweet uh brought up by um a meet digital bond that. I link to and and it says uh, the disrespect that voice actors and actresses get is unbelievable and I I think that's a very fair thing to uh, bring up. Mm-hmm. That is one of the big one of the big debates is like when it comes to doing voice acting, do you need a list celebrities or do you need professional voice actors? In my case, if if, if you want to do a lot if you want to do an um an anime movie, you just get professional voice actors. Or if you, if you can get an A-list celebrity that is also known for doing voice acting, stick with that. But I think the reason why they want to do A-list stars is because of two things. Money and ticket sales. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's they like want- an advertising thing that, like, a lot of, it's weird. A lot of, like, specific types of producing companies are like, oh, if this if this person, if we advertise them, surely people are going to come to watch. And I, I, I don't know, if you were to pull anyone... I don't think anyone's watching a movie specifically because someone is in it. You can even, like, ask, like, you know, a 12-year-old kid. I don't think they're going to know a majority of stars by name. Less, or less even I can't even get, I can't even get and my... I think, like, with, like, what Lucas mentioned was, like, the, the difference between, like, professional voice acting. Because a lot of, uh, you know, people that are well-known celebrities do professional voice acting versus, like, established voice actors mm-hmm. i can't get my my roommate to identify actors half the time it's like i i mentioned something like oh james marsden's gonna be you know playing this cop she's like who <laughs> and i had literally had to tell her like uh, i i know that's not to be too far today um but um shoot i lost my train of thought there <laughs> it happens um, yeah uh, it'll come back Oh, I I think I really think I really hope that um, Paramount does not recast Tails' voice because that would be a complete step forward to have a a regular voice actor be in the big blockbuster movie, uh, being Tails. 
Yeah. Uh, that... and at least. Yeah, and, I th- and yeah, and like you said, Ben Swartz and Idris Elba, they they also, even though they did like live action stuff in the past, they've also had experience um, with voice acting. So I think they they're actually do- following the line of. Um, I think what Paramount should not do is not go the A-list route. Just go with a professional voice actor route because that's a good way to make sure that your anime movie is going to be like a hit. Yeah. Paramount, if anybody at Paramount like is you listening, said. you know, please don't recast Tales. Don't because... recast Tales. <laughs> use, use your yeah, common sense in this it. one, boys. <laughs> use your common sense in this one, boys and gals. Mm. Do not cast it. You would get Do a lot more it. respect from the Sonic, uh, from the Sonic community in general if, oh, yeah. if you I dare say a better reputation <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. but speaking of I, I would love to have uh Kale's voice actress uh, come on as a guest one time be nice. yeah. oh that'd be awesome hold it Colin, that'd be great oh yeah i mean we, we've gotten amazing. we've gotten some of them on here on um you know reva before so mm-hmm. shouldn't be too hard yeah I think it'd be, it'd be amazing to have a couple, a few of the uh, official Sonic voice actors come in as guests. That could help. I I would love to be able. To, like I said, one of the hardest to get a hold of is uh, Roger Craig Smith because it's like pulling teeth just to even try and get a hold of. Him. I can I I have never been successfully been able to get a hold of him. So yeah, he, he needs a busy guy. That is true. That's what you get. That's what you get for that. that that's what happens if you're a professional voice actor. Do, you get work like right away, like right this instant. Especially with the new. But, but also, he does uh, photography, in which he has to travel a lot as well. Oh, that's right. I didn't. Oh, really? I did not know that he he he, he does photography. Yeah, I mean that's his other side of um. Besides being an actor, he's also a photographer. Like he likes he enjoys taking picture of nature. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. So just out of curiosity, um, has there been any other movie where where you see the cast and like, oh great, why why them? But why them until like you have no idea what what they're doing until they see the trailer. So has there been a movie that's almost like the Mario movie that, that's coming up right like very very soon? Was there any was there any other movie that that, that was sort of like that? You mean like where they mm-hmm. advertise like the cast, like and reveal that before like any like promotional material from the actual movie or yes. something? Yes, yeah, something like that. Like, like they show these they show these well known celebrities who's voicing these characters before they show the trailer. I can't think of any on top of my head other than like really? possible like leaks or something. I you know I I remember something like like I said. For some reason, Angry Birds movie is the first one that comes to mind when I think yeah, about yeah. Uh, celebrities being advertised well before the material itself was uh, shown up. I'm like, wait, what? Somebody you know, said much, mm. much was in that movie. I think the Expendables <laughs> did something like that as well. Oh, really? Like the first Expendables movie, they were just like, okay, we've got all this star power. We're not showing you anything yet. It's like, well, I know it's a live action. It's like, what are we gonna do that. here? <laughs> Sonic fan said cats. Oh, and I know what you're talking about. The uh, oh 20, lord, the 2019 mm. live action yeah. cats based <laughs> on the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Yeah, and does anyone remember cats? I don't want to. I have seen no, cats. I have the original. Look, I, I don't want to go on a liquid diet. Tonight, I I, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't watch I didn't watch that movie, but I've seen the original uh st- the original Broadway play. Uh, what I say Same Broadway way. Uh. We my uh local uh, theater production actually was one of the very few uh places in the world that actually had the permission and the license to actually do a cats uh play. So wow. they they oh, wow. uh I got a chance yeah. to actually see cats at the local level uh in uh Winter Haven. So that that was amazing. And one of my one of the, my pe- one of the uh people that I actually uh went to school with got to play in um that that particular Whoa, play that's cool oh, very nice so that that was really awesome to see so that's that's the version i remember seeing i also saw uh where they they had a taping of the broadway musical which they they put out on video for people to watch yeah, so that's the one that's the one i'm referring to that, that was, it was actually from 1998 it was filmed yeah. at the adelphi theater in london so technically it 
so yeah, it is the London slash Broadway musical, the original. Right. That's the one I remember the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was my introduction to, to, to musicals in general. So, uh, shall we talk? I think we should probably talk more about the uh, a little bit more about the uh, Nintendo Direct, if any. What else? Maybe. What else there was there? Like, okay. Oh, so, have you guys seen the, the wireless controllers? I yeah, know that. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. Wireless yeah. Wireless yes. Genesis. I want to get the, the Sega Genesis oh, controller. Oh. Yeah, 50 really? Bucks. Yeah. yeah. 50 big ones. So oh, they, wow. they had. So one question not, I want to ask is that uh, we, some of the games that 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 they're gonna be on there, from my from what I recall, I believe they're gonna they are gonna have Sonic Two. Hmm. Um. Oh gosh. Um. Primal. I I, don't, I have no idea what other game. But that's the only one I can think oh, of. Of the guys. Uh, let me check I right now. I don't, recall, I don't recall seeing Sonic One in there, which is really weird. Mm. No, I think, uh, there's I not. I think I, I think I I think I, I think I know why, because I think for Switch Online, they're probably gonna put in games that, that support multiplayer, and Sonic One didn't have multiplayer at all. Yeah, that's, that's a good it. point. Mm-hmm. So it may be a possibility that they're gonna add in Sonic Three and Knuckles, but we don't know that yet because of copyright, mainly because some of the music in Sonic Three was done by Michael Jackson. We'll we'll yeah. see what happens when mm-hmm. Sonic Origins like comes comes more around. We get more information from Origins because um, I think whatever is whatever Genesis game is going to be available for you know Switch. It's like I don't I think it's kind of moot when it when it comes to Sonic Origins. So mm-hmm, yeah, as I'm looking at the full list right here, I only see really two Sonic titles they've got on there. Sonic Two and Mean Bean Machine was on there as well. That, yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is gonna be fun, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you mean fun. <laughs> uh... yeah, and I think, but the thing is, though, if you want to get, it, then you have to raise up the. You have to purchase. You, you, you have to pay more money j- just to get that. Yeah, apparently they're they're advertising it as what uh, some kind of like expanded thing. I mean, that's like an expansion yeah. pass on your subscription and that you already expansion have. Pass. Expansion pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cute. Oh, was there anything else we want to talk about before we move on to audience calls? Oh, would be uh, okay, but. The... I I do have an event I want to promote. Uh, okay. Can paste that link. Um, so, um, one of our Sonic Revolution guests, uh, Double Jovial Knight, uh, runs an event called Chaos Creators, and that showcases the content creators in the Sonic community, such as uh, oh. artists, uh, those who make videos, music, etc. Uh, they would have an in-person event, uh, except for COVID, so that's on hold. But they are doing an online event that is called Chaotic Night, and that will be taking place on October 16th. Uh, they will be having an artist alley. They will be uh, showcasing videos, and they will be doing a pumpkin carving as well. They are accepting ap- applications, uh, so if, if you view the... The Twitter thread that I, that is being linked to, uh, you can you can submit an application if if you if you have any like group that that you know of or any content you want to show or if you want to be uh, have a slot in the artist alley, we, and I will be volunteering for that event and I hope to see you all there. Oh sweet, uh, oh man, I I wish I could go that night. Unfortunately, that night's when I'm going to a witch's ball, so. I'm not going right. to be, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to be. Oh, yeah, I think they're, yeah, during the last show, didn't you show us uh, your, your uh, gown in the works? Yeah, I was, yeah. I'm still working on the dress. Uh, I started working on the skirt a little bit. Uh, it's, it's super big and super long, so I'm not going to even bother trying to pull that out right now. <laughs> I, I have gotten starting to work on the, uh, the skirts for, for the witch's ball. So, uh, hopefully, uh, I can get that done before the 16th, so. Oh man. All right. Was there anything else before we want to move on to audience calls? Well, I I was gonna go and and uh, showcase what um 
what um, Sega games were going to be on the Switch Online at launch. Okay. Okay, so besides the already mentioned uh, Mimi Mi Machine and Sonic 2, we have Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore, Echo the Dolphin. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Musha, Fantasy Star 4. <gasps> Ooh. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yep. Um, Ristar. Rystar. Oh, Rystar, thank yeah, you. Rystar. Shining Force. Shinobi 3. Streets of Rage. And Strider. Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 2. Mm hmm. And yeah, that's that's all the that's all the Sega Genesis games we have for the Switch Online. We may have more in the future. Um, but yeah. just out of curiosity, um, of all the games that were not listed, what games do you think could possibly work for Switch Online? It, it when it comes to um to Genesis games. Oh gosh. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a good question. I can't remember if it's a two player or not, but Earthbound Gem would be a nice addition. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. I was thinking like like a, a couple of, of a Disney games as well. I was thinking Castle of Illusion or Mickey Mania, but those are Oh, all... that's a good one. But yeah, but yeah, but those are all one player, I think. But yeah. maybe they may have multiplayer. Oh man. I wouldn't mind Biohazard Battle being one of those oh, where you know I would actually have a partner in crime on there because God, Lord. Oh, that game is hard. Oh, that game is hard. <laughs> I can't think of many Genesis games that I would think of uh, that, you know, would have multiplayer because a lot of that stuff I played that was usually single player anyway, so. Yeah, same here. I'm going to ask uh, the, the same question I asked in the uh, Twitch chat and see what they think. Or maybe not. They may not answer. But... Other than that, but yeah, um, but in terms of Nintendo Direct, we got a new fully three three Kirby game. We have also um N sixty four games um for mm -hmm. Switch Online in addition to Sega Genesis. Um, we are not gonna know who the final fighter is for Smash until October fifth at ten a.m. Mm. Oh yes, Eastern the time. final, the final, final, <laughs> final, final. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how so how big the... is how big is the Smash list now? I mean, I I, I, don't think I can count that high. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen so many fighters in all my life. Yeah. Same. Outside of Mugen, yeah. but that Smash Mugen doesn't count. count. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Um. There's um. Splatoon three. Bayonetta, uh, Bayonetta three, is it three? Mm. Bayonetta, there. really? The Bayonetta yeah. Three? yeah, yeah. They showed it. Yeah, a lot, three lot of Bayonetta end. fans were happy. Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. was great. It was epic. I, yeah. I honestly thought that series was done. No, it's not. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those <laughs> games that was like a Half Life three thing where it was stuck in development for like <laughs> longer than it should be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, um, it, it's also really neat too because I. I uh, I think doesn't Sega uh, publishes it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe you're right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's on. But, it's going to be on Nintendo exclusive again, which is really, really fascinating. Yeah, but but what's re really interesting, like in the first game, it was um, published by Sega, but on the second game, it wasn't because um, something fell through um, the plan, and so. I really can't remember. It's been been years. I mean, because I remember that um, they wanted to publish it under Sega's name, but Sega said, no, we're not. And so they had to publish under a different one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What's the different one? Uh, is it, It's Platinum Games, right? Yeah, yeah Platinum, I think yeah, so. Platinum yeah. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Platinum yeah. Games. Mm -hmm. uh, so they also had a, um, a new expansion for uh, Monster, Hunt Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's our new ice Danny, I, I, Danny, I saw you cheering over there about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me and Danny, me and Danny, oh, we are we are insane on Monster Hunter. Me and Danny. We we, and, we are um, both over Hunter rank 160. 
Um, oh yeah. Ooh, very nice. Um, Mario Party Superstars. They just announced the um, the five boards that are going to be in, in that game, and a few so a few of the mini games that were from the earlier games, from like Mario Party One through Ten, I believe. And um, Daisy's going to be a playable character in Super in Mario Mario Party Superstars. So, you know, it's funny. I've... I remember I remember super, uh, the Mario Party games. It's like uh, there was at one point I stopped playing it, and then one day I decided to try one of the newer games. I got into it like. Oh my god, this is boring. I want to go back to the old Mario Party games. Well, I am, mind that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I rarely say that about video games that I'd be I'd be so hard on a newer game that that sucks uh compared to the uh, older games, but this Mar- the old newer Mario Party games was like, what is this? I hate this. Well, keep in mind uh Mario Party is best known as the Friendships. Um, <laughs> and the game that gave your hand the blister in, in the first one when you both hit the control set. Except I usually solo those games because I don't have anybody to play with. So, and they also announced uh, Voice of Cards, the Isle Dragon Ro- Roars by Square Enix. It's made by the uh, twin creators of Nier, by the way. But that's who's on mm. the helm of that one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Disco Elysium, the final cut, is going to be on Switch. Um, an expansion pass for Hyrule Ro- Warriors Age of Calamity. And they add in a, another Square Enix game, Chocobo GP, which is basically oh. a Mario Kart with Final Fantasy characters. <laughs> Everyone is getting into the racing business, it seems. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Let's hope they can succeed. Yes. Yeah. And of course, the uh, Switch Online N64. So yeah, I think we I basically covered everything that that happened. They did they, they showcase a few other games as well. Um, the return of Act Razor for the first time in decades. Yeah. And like, what year is it? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and they, it was about 2021. they also they also announced the um the Castlevania Advance Collection. I think. Right. Something for everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's all I could think of when it comes to the uh, to uh, to Nintendo Direct. We'll see what. We'll see Already. What Wow. There there's a lot there for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Uh I guess that this point we can go and start moving on towards audience calls cuz uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we pretty much run out of topics here. So we'll we'll start taking yeah. uh, questions from audiences. Uh please jump into our Discord chat if somebody will link to the Discord chat uh in in Twitch if they're not already there. Um, and uh, we will get to your call shortly. Join us in the audience room. Uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! I accidentally pulled out the old Sonic Revolution screen. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I just saw them. I've got the feed up and I just saw them. <laughs> yeah. <see. laughs> okay. Oh, um I'm going to I it's I'm tired. I'm tired. I uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go jump good. into the studio audience now, so same here. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Mm-hmm. All right, they're all sweet. Yeah, I know what I know what most of you are gonna ask about. They, I I think I know what most most of you. Oh are yeah, ask we we know what they're gonna we ask. Know. About. We know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. we and being right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Let's see. <laughs> Already we got, we got uh, two people raising their hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who do we want to call, call first? Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Who else but Delta, man? <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was the uh, one that uh, answered. Yeah. I was the one that answered the question if the Federations was a democracy. And it's like, I've made this whole idea of the governmental structures of these countries in Sonic Unleashed. So I wow. based the Federations mm. off of America, which uh. basically has, you know, the same governmental structure as the USA. Yeah. Apotos is based off of Greece. Holoska is based off of Iceland, mm -hmm. which has a unicameral um, legislation. Unicameral, that is a one chamber of legislation. A bicameral is two houses of legislation. Huh. So <laughs> I'm sorry if I had to give you like a lesson on governmental structures. <laughs> no, so, that's okay. Uh... <laughs> that's very, very educational. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. Dun, I, dun, I, dun, dun. Spagonia is modeled at, by a combination of um, Spain and Britain, although it's mostly just actually it's just Italy and Britain. Considering that we, considering that there is Big Ben. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um. So, uh, is there anything you want to ask us? Or mm. that'll. Yeah, sorry for the government. Sorry for the uh, government structure. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's is Alaska like... based? Is Alaska Iceland or Antarctica or just northeast Russia? Hmm. Alaska. Hmm. That. I mean. Um... It could be, um, it could be one of those uh, Arctic's, Antarctica maybe, but that shouldn't be it. Yeah. Or the North Pole. Could be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like in the north of uh, of Canada, that's where the um, Eskimos uh, um, reside there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That's really, you know, an interesting question. What would I Alaska know. be based on? But yeah, I I would say more of a, you know, North America, extreme North area, yeah. extreme mm -hmm. North American That's country. Yukon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take parts of Yukon in Canada. Yeah. Mm. And I know I know Soliana's not part of Unleash, but I know it's a principality. Per oh, the no. <laughs> per the um per Rouge in during a cutscene in which yeah. she described the country. I was like, why? <laughs> Is this Yeah. Why not? Global, <laughs> global education with Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah, it makes you kind of wonder, but uh, what what kind of um, plan, uh, like design and idea they went through, and, like were they thinking about the like geography wise or or something? Because like if if it's a mirror to our world, then what would have been in Sonic's world? question yeah I mean let's face it you know there's been all sorts of world build I wouldn't say world building per se but just you know random countries just kind of tossed out there during the course of um, Sonic's history and you know I, th I think one yeah. of the most prominent though is definitely United Federation more than anything else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in my like fanfic but in my like the lore I put I just separated GUN from the federations and made GUN just a mediator world mediator organization mm. just like a headcanon type of thing yeah yeah. I just had that in my headcanon see I, I, I see yeah I just I always saw GUN as just uh, as United Federations military 
branch. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But then that would eliminate the whole idea of the federations having a navy, or the very least a any sort of military branch like navy or marines in that kind of case. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, who knows. Let's see let's give all right i'm gonna leave now it's nice talking to you i'm sorry for the whole governmental structure <laughs> that's okay no no it's it was, it was very interesting to be honest yeah, yeah. Was like a good interesting discussion like yeah that. dig more deep into the lore yes Add, i i love lore me. talk i love lore talk so oh same here yeah. yeah all right i'm gonna give another person a chance all right all right, let's try um, uh, Princess Vertera. Yeah, Vertera. I've never been to the chat tonight. Yeah. Here we go. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? Oh. How are nice you? to see you all. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you too, Vertera. Yes. How are you? Oh. Yeah, Hello. 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 Oh, you might want to you might want to turn down your uh your speakers there. We can hear we got feedback on the on the background. Yeah, yeah. 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 We can hear ourselves in the background. Your your speakers there. We. Yeah, if you have headphones, that would really help. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we're getting major feedback there. Majorly. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, let's okay. um. Let me do that. How about and we get back to Princess? How about we get to uh, just raise your hand again and we'll call you back. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hope she's able to fix that because that would be nice to be able to hear it from her. I hope yeah, so. Agree. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's try Michael here and see what's going on. Oh, uh, Michael. Uh -oh. Hello, Michael. Hello. How Hello. Are you, buddy? Very well. Hi. Pretty good. All right. So, consider considering the ending of the first Sonic movie, what do you think they will do in the sequel that will be coming out? Um. Well, you know, I saw some, you know, I I saw some snippets of uh, discussion here and there, and uh, I don't want to talk anything too much about about it without, you know, poss the possibility of possibly spoiling anything. So yeah. it's just like mm -hmm. your All guess right. was as good as mine. <laughs> I mean, but, I guess it's yeah. got knuckles in it. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing <laughs> going for it. I imagine something involving that. Your boy Knuckles is in there. Yes. Oh yes. Well, what do you think they should do in the sequel, though? Uh, for one thing, keep the Tails voice actor from the first song. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think that the, I think that they should just keep the voice actor. As is, and not do anything with it. I think Tails the voice actor is perfectly fine as is. Yes, there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. Yeah, like plus she like she was in the previous movie. Um, although I I do want to like say though I guess if I have like any answer of like maybe what I want would want to see, I know it was kind of a wish with the first movie. I think I might want to see more of Sonic's world potentially in the upcoming yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like there's a big chance for them to, you know, explore so many possibilities with that. That was oh, one yeah, of my totally. big complaints about the first movie was that, you know, we only get like the first five minutes of Sonic's world and then we just get dumped into the human world. And I was, I actually complained that I'll be, I was like, you know, this is just like every other movie where so-and-so gets dumped into the human world. And it's like, I don't want to see more of what I already know of. I want to see this world that's not ours, that's, you know, that's different, that's, you know, imaginative. This is yeah. just the same old crap. 
<laughs> now, don't get me wrong. The Sonic movie was still good. But at the heart of the matter, it's just the same old story. Yeah, that, that I can yeah. agree with. Especially yeah. because it's like, uh, like when they showed it off in the movie, uh, Green Hill Zone, and even like that that uh, that mushroom planet that Eggman was dumped on, looked gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Oh it yeah, definitely. Really I want to see more of that. Yes. Yeah, I would like to see more of Sonic's war world and why that those uh, echidnas attacked Sonic. Like, like, where did they come from? Like, what tribe are they from? Mm -hmm. I would like to know more about, you know, the origin of Sonic's powers. I mean, because it seems like he's got chaos energy just in him. That just, yeah. that just seems like what it is, is that he had, he, he has chaos energy and, you know, why does he have chaos energy and, and, you know. Yeah, as well as like, uh, Longclaw, who was... The... Yeah, in the movie. <laughs> Bring back Long Claw. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm wondering if they're gonna do it. You never know. But yeah, the you know it's funny because I re I read the novelization and definitely she's dead in the in the in the novelization. But in um in the movie you don't see her actually die on screen. You just kind of you know yeah. see her kind of you know. It was left pretty I ambiguous. Wouldn't... It was pretty pretty yeah. open. So. Yeah. She, there's still a chance she can come back. Please. <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess when I first saw that scene, I guess she lived dead. Although you never know, she may come back as a villain. Mm -hmm. Come back as a that'd be a, that'd be a twist. That would be. I really would. I be. actually did <laughs> uh, write. I was actually writing up some ideas about a sequel, and that actually came to be at one point where uh, I actually wrote up the idea of Longclaw being brought back, but she uh, is, like, roboticized. That'd be interesting. But then again, I'm still, I'm still hooked on the idea of robot, at the original robotization from, like, Satyam and stuff. I I I yeah. love I I like that old, uh that old thing and it's like I wish that that idea would kind of be brought back. It's like, yeah. I would love to see that come back in the second film. If they are planning on bringing it back, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, your guess is as good as yeah, mine. Who man. knows? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty then, I guess but we'll give yeah. somebody else a chance. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I had to say. Okay. Let right. Right. Okay, let's see if our uh, DJ Victor is here. Yeah. Let's try, let's let's try again. All right, hello. Is all good now? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh. We've still got feedback Sorry. there. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hello. yeah, we can hear your speakers. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we've still got feedback there. Sorry. Okay. Uh, use uh, the, what's it called, the push button? Sorry. The push to talk might help you. Uh, yeah. What's mm -hmm. it called, the push button? Sorry. Hang on, I'll, I'll message you on how to do yeah. push to talk. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I Let's get Doom up and then I'll message. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Hello. So, Hi. Uh, I've been debating and asked one of these two questions, but I'll just ask them. Would you be, would y'all want the, the movie Sonic uh, to have his own cinematic universe or sequel upon sequel upon sequel? Oh, Lord. Uh, well, I'm I'm a big sucker for a cinematic universe crossover type deal. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! It I depends mean, how good it is yeah. in the next sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
if these people prove to be capable hands of, you know, handling something like that, then mm -hmm. by all means, why not, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let their creativity fly. <laughs> but so far, almost anybody else who's tried to do a cinematic universe to get it off the ground has utterly and completely fallen to the ground. Fail. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. Like. Um. This may be an unpopular opinion, but like the DCEU, I feel like they rushed an end game too quickly. Hey, I don't even care for DCEU, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, in terms of like a potential like Sonic or like Sega type of like you know, cinematic universe, it would be difficult because they'd have to have already something established and not just have the idea of going into one right away because typically. Right. That doesn't work yeah they need to ease into it like marvel did yeah and i don't yeah dc kind of, kind of rushed everything because marvel did it they wanted to copy what uh dc did um um do you remember the um the one time when uh when universal tried to do the uh dark universe yes universe? <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. god that was that was a one and done they it... tried it with the mummy and it wasn't even a universe. It was just like um, a test, an anthology. It's like and it, it's like uh yeah um, they they kind of uh, they they screwed up really bad on the mummy first off because they touched. I think one of the problems is that they touched a really beloved um movie from the nineties and just like. Well, I say ninety, late nineties, early two thousands. Mm, yeah. The um, even though I do, I do know that you know the the original Mummy was from way, 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 way back. Um, mm. but everyone loves the uh the Brendan Fraser version, so. Right. Yeah. Also, what's so funny about it is that I don't know if it's true or not, but um, I think Universal kind of started this uh cinematic, um, universe thing. Years yeah. before Marvel did it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I re actually remember yeah. it was being mentioned. I I think um when um both um Doug this Walker and, Doug Walker and um uh, James uh, Rolfe James Rolf were talking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's when they did their um their crossover review, and that's when I first found out. I'm like, what, what, like, wait, really? Universal started it? That's yeah, odd. But yeah, the Dark Universe was... It was just one done and... It never happened again. It would have been nice to to see more Dark Universe m movies, but uh, just their one failure with the mummy just kind of uh, questioned their future, basically. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. you know, the Tom, the Tom Cruise version sucked really hard. That's true. It did. So, um, um, any is there anything else you want to ask, or is that all? Oh yeah, I do. Um, so you know how like Marvel's What If is becoming a thing. Well, yeah. It's been a thing, but it's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if there was a Sonic? <laughs> what if? Oh gosh. I wonder what kind of story. <laughs> oh oh cool. gosh. Oh, no. I mean, that is wholly possible. I mean, you know, we've had Archie Comics just explore a whole bunch of stuff, so. That's mm -hmm. not totally oh, yeah. out of the question here. I, I mean, I mean, Sonic I'm, has hel so many different versions of Sonic. That it's just like you know, anything's possible at this point. I mean, heck, Sonic X even referenced some of the original events from the games. So, yeah, anything's true. possible. I mean, I felt I felt like uh, Sonic Underground was a what if in of itself. Yeah, yeah, it did kind of mm -hmm. feel like it, didn't it? True. What if Sonic was in a band? What if Sonic was a prince? Uh, yeah, Sonic. Which that kind of that kind of synced with my fanfic a little bit about Sonic being yeah. royalty. Yeah, was Sonic ever? I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it because um, there was something that happened in, in the end of Sonic and the Black Knight, but I don't want to reveal it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I know where you're going on that. Yeah, I think I do too. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, I think we're going to move on to our next person with the next question. So thank you, Doom. All right. We're going to try. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I, didn't mean I, I didn't mean to get ahead of you there. That's okay. It's all good. It's Hello. been a while. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. It's been a while. Sonic Crafter King, yeah. what's up? Uh, nothing much. Just wanted to drop by and say hello. Um, I just wanted to catch one of these shows because I keep missing them for some reason. <laughs> oh, well, I understand. I'm glad we were able to yeah. catch this one. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I have a question. Yes. yes. What if Sonic Prime were a 2D animated show? Because Sonic, mm -hmm. because in my opinion, I think Sonic works better in 2D animation than 3D animation. And I want to see your opinions on that. I mean, it well, would definitely work out. I would see something because if it's being being anim not anime, if it's being done by Man of Action, uh, I mean, I would expect the uh, the animation would hold up in a similar manner as to say like Benton and uh, Avengers Assemble. So, uh, yeah, totally. Well, Good I choice. think we I think we mentioned it. Um, we we talked about this before we aired. Um. The Mario movie was made by is is it made by the same people who is responsible for Teen Titans Go as well as the movie. Oh yeah, Teen T Oh yeah, I heard that the Teen Titans Go movie is actually better than the actual show itself. It, 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 yes, it, 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 I am not worried at all. The one thing I'm worried about about the movie is how the actors will play their roles. Mm -hmm. Like Chris Pratt as Mario, like. How can you go lower than that? Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, let's face it. Let's yeah, face it. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Pratt is no stranger to voice acting, but him as Mario, I just can't see it. I've always heard him in his normal voice, whether he's like goofy or serious. It's always been his normal voice. Mm -hmm. He sounds the same in everything, like yeah. when he plays Emmett in the Lego Movie, Star Lord. Owen oh, Grady from uh, Jurassic World. Like, all of his roles are, like, in the same voice. I mean, it's just, I, like, funny, like, at the, the sheer thought of just, like, him using his regular voice thing. I was just like, uh, it's, it's, hi, it's me, uh, Mario. And just... <laughs> yeah, the, the one question is always, awesome. The one question that we're going to get asked is, how come they couldn't get an Italian guy to voice Mario? Hmm. Actually, Charles Martinet is French. <laughs> well, he, he, he may be French, but at least he does. Mo but at least he does Mario justice. Yeah. But I, I will say that, like with the uh, Sonic Prime animation, I don't know, like with the two D versus thirty, I because we know that they already do the Sonic Media cartoons mm -hmm. already in a two D art style. So and they and Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps. Right, so cool. it would it yeah. would be fascinating, like see you know Prime like in a sort of two D style, like based on like what Man of Action's done in the past. Uh, but uh, if it's if it really is like a three D type of animation, I hope it doesn't look too bad either. I hope it looks like uh, the cutscenes from Generations are unleashed or something like that. Oh yeah, yes. mm -hmm. oh yeah, it's look beautiful. Well, it's just like the sheer CG. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But they don't have to be like Pixar quality. No. They just need to look I mean, like it. It is a TV show after all, so yeah, yeah. They don't have the budget for Pixar animation. Mm -hmm. It'll probably look different from Sonic Boom for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Sonic Boom was great. Sonic Boom was a three D show, and that was made by by like a French company, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think the animation in that show downgraded as it kept going on. Uh, like, you can see how cell shaded the uh, models looked each progressing episode. Hmm. So basically, like, in, like, the longer the show goes on, the, the worse the quality gets. Right? Uh, I mean, it it's not really like true for every show, but... It was kind of true for Sonic Boom. I had to say that. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Um, 
I'm going to keep this down to, uh, we're going to try to keep this down to a shorter show today. So I'm going to give us about just a little over 15 minutes left for questions. So, yeah, that's so well, it was yeah. a nice talk. It was actually nice talking to you guys after like uh, three months. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have, have, have yeah it would be nice to talk to you guys again sometime. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Just you know, try to catch a show whenever you can. So, all right, yeah. guys, have a good one. Thanks. You you too. Care, Sonic Rock, man. See. You. All right. So maybe we should do like um like like one question per. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, one yeah. question <laughs> per. Yeah. All right. So. Who shall we invite next? Uh, how about uh, Alex Allstar? Hello there. Hello. 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 Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Alex, uh -oh. we do not hear you, Alex. Do you, is your mic working? Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. We can try uh -oh. coming back. Uh, yeah, we may have to come back to Alex. So. Yeah. 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 Then try to oh. check if Discord's changed your microphone at all. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um. Switch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go I, I know uh, Princess Barrett Barrett has been trying. We're trying to get uh get get the uh, get going. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh hey. Oh, we can hear you. Yes. Hey guys, no time kind to of see. Right. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on anyway? <laughs> so, right, what's the right, question? No. Uh, I just have a simple question, but don't you think it's surreal that we live in a timeline where Nintendo is the one producing Sega Genesis uh, products, like Genesis controllers? <laughs> like, I'm still baffled by that, even to this day. Oh my gosh. That surrealism kind of, you know, was first like hit you like a truck when you realized there was actually a Sonic game on a Nintendo console. Right. Kind of. That was <laughs> right. when the surrealism really hit well, you like a truck. When, well, that oh, was yeah. during, well, that was during the time when um, when Sega decided to not make any more consoles and just focus more on game development, which then led to Sonic games being released on Nintendo consoles. I I think my surreal mm -hmm. I think my surrealism peaked when they announced the first Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It's just like, <laughs> yes, yeah. cats and yeah. dogs in the same room together, <laughs> mass hysteria. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, we'll say yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah. And most I'm sure, like, the perspective is different depending on, like, on who you ask, you know, if mm -hmm. they've been a long-time fan or, like, a newer fan. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, I have people who are like, uh, I was expecting this because, you know, Nintendo won the console wars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that was my question. I'll okay. uh, give it to someone else now. All okay. Right. Thank you, Swift. All right. Have a oh, nice Alex night. Just typing up there a question. All right. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, All right. who's next? Uh, Alex is actually uh, typing their question right here. It said, "Okay, if, if, oh, Sonic, and said, if Sonic and his friends friend were Pokemon trainers, what type do you think they would specialize with, and why?" Oh, Since oh, wow, uh, wow. Since I find Sonic with fire and ice, Tails with steel electric, and Knuckles with fighting. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what they said. Oh my gosh. Um hmm. uh Danny did anyone answer this one because uh you know Danny, what do you think? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> there are like whenever you like go down the list it is pretty uh you know pretty yeah. good question. I wish I had the answer but um I'm not into Pokemon as I used to. I mean, I don't see, I don't see Sonic using like any particular type of Pokemon. I think he'd be more generalized, and they they'd be all based, they'd be all more uh, based on sp um, speed than yeah, like than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was gonna go with uh, electric for Sonic. That's what I would have gone with, just because you yeah. know a lot of those are predicated on speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's just me personally. Um, Tails um, flying. <laughs> Flying. <laughs> shadow, shadow will be dark. Shadow, shadow will be, be dark. dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 
I, I do agree with what, Alex All Stars and Knuckles would, would be fighting. I wonder yes. which one would be uh, plant or water based. Well, we know Cream Blaze could be use the plant. Ooh, another easy one. Um, Silver would probably use Psychic. Delay. Psychic. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. No, I feel like Blaze could also work with fire because Blaze yeah, will be fire. Like Danny was saying, Danny mm -hmm. was like, yeah, Blaze obviously yeah. fire. Yeah. I wonder what Doctor Eggman would be though. Uh, oh boy. Electric, mm -hmm. electric, steel, electric, steel, 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 steel electric. Steel. Oh, this was yeah. a big. We use water types. Yeah, big would be water. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that does make sense. <laughs> Thanks for that disco. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yes. disco the game dev in the chat, y'all. All right, who's Green next? A... All right. All right, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Bring me in. Uh, Trey. Let's try Trey. Let's bring in Trey in here. Trey. Oh, Hello. Can we hear you? Hello, oh. Trey. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi there. Hey. Hello. 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 So, uh, what's your question? Good sir. Well, I just have maybe just one question. All right, ask yes. away. Okay. Is there going to be a new villain in a Sonic game? Uh, yeah, we do my, not. My, we we, we have dad, no idea. My yeah, dad was saying ours. Your, your, your guess is good as ours. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're not privy to that kind of information, so... Yeah. What, do you not have like an yeah. uncle or like a family member Sorry who works at Sega who could tell you? It's the eagle. <laughs> 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 what? Oh no. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see yeah, about yeah. the new Sonic game that they talk about. <laughs> But I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know, you guys, like, if there was, like, a new Sonic villain, which there probably will be for, like, the next game, like, what could you possibly think of that would make for an actually, like, good Sonic villain that would set it apart from previous ones? Oh, gosh, I don't I know mean, at this point. Oh, wow. Um, mm. I mean, when you, when they came back to the uh, old Sonic Adventure games, there there was a definite formula t to how the... The, the big bad was uh, revealed. It's just like, you know, uh, Eggman finds the big bad, tries to control it. Eggman loses control. And they Eggman has to work with Sonic to take out the big bad. So Yeah. Like there was a big bad wolf? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> no, I, I, I have an idea. <laughs> what the new Sonic film will be? Big the cat. Uh. Oh. How's that for a how's that for a talk? What if what if Bid the Cat was the villain? Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, oh heck no! Oh heck no, man! Oh, uh, thank you for your question, Trey. No yeah, You're, it's my pleasure. Hope you have a good night. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So who's next? Um, who? Uh, do we want to do we want to try Princess one more time? It's yeah, yes. Let's try, well, let's try one more time. Let's mm -hmm. time okay, to charm. Okay, come on, practice third time to charm. Yeah, come third on, time to charm for Tara. Third time to charm. Okay. Yay! Hello. Please. Hello. Hello. Tara. Can you hear us, Mr. Yeah. Um, you know, for person talk, just push like the uh, space button or anything or or any button. Yeah, if I don't know if you did push to talk or or open, but yeah, if you if you see a push to talk button, that's probably what you would press. That's yeah. what I was just trying to talk you to do earlier. Or if not, you can ask your question on uh yeah. um on yeah, the, on you the can type that in if you yeah. like. Yeah. 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 It's acting I'm up. A, yeah, if it's acting up, just yeah. We do have yes. If you want to ask your question, but your mic isn't working, you can go ahead and ask. Yeah, she, to catch, yeah. She, she had the good question, but yeah, if if you can't speak, type up your question. Absolutely, yeah. yes. it because it's only fair. Yes.
All right, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's let's take Princess to, uh, back to the uh, audience and let her yeah. type up her question. And people are uh, people are people are typing in silence the bot. Silence the bot because the bot's updating people when they level up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going crazy. It even updated me. It's <laughs> new me six. Be quiet. Be quiet. Please. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, it's a Michael Michael Wolf said he's sorry that, but no, no, it's not your fault. It's, it's not your fault. Blame the bot. Them over here, and then we'll see. Okay, so he says, okay, Tara, I heard that on. Sonic and Mario are friends. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm typing up. Okay. Hashtag I stand with Michael. Hashtag, Hashtag silence the bots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Delta. Thank you, Delta. <laughs> With Mike, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the big bag. Oh, here's okay. All right, what do you think about Sonic and Mario at the Olympics in 2022? Uh, Winter Olympics, I think. Yeah, that'll be the Winter yeah. Olympics. So, yeah. um, if yeah. um, I haven't heard any announcements, any usually yeah, they start I making haven't either. I don't know whether maybe that might get delayed because of COVID or you know, maybe it, it might. I don't know, it very well could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Mario and Sonic, um, yeah, I, not, I mean, the last, I mean, I know Mario, Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Olympics, um, that was released, like, on time, and that was, like, before the Olympics. Mm -hmm. yeah. By a mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, um, we don't know. Yeah, we don't we don't know about that. It could happen, but we don't know. You know, Disco saying that might have been the the last one. I think it actually like out. was the the most recent one. Yeah, the, Beijing. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Twenty two. Uh, yeah, we don't know when uh 2022 where the Olympics are gonna be held in 2022 mm -hmm. yeah, if they make one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll look mm -hmm. it up. So this can be the last question in terms of uh, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's only busy. anyway. Night zero zero one. Hello. Night, night double oh one. Hello. hello there. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah, well, I'm I'm you Hi. Cool, cool. So I know you guys are keeping a little short today. So I'm, I was, I was already prepared to go on a rant with uh, Sonic Remix about how Shadow, you know, the demise of Shadow the Hedgehog. But oh, we don't have to, you know, because you know Shadow is my one of my favorite characters of all time. Yes. We don't we don't you know we we, we don't want to be here until like six oh, AM no. in the morning. No <laughs> no no we we be we be at it for hours. Yeah. So uh I'll keep it simple. Really like nerd energy. This is gonna be a really specific question but okay um yeah really, yeah, really geek energy right now. So uh you guys obviously know about chaos control mm -hmm. and yeah, uh we've seen the types of things we can do with chaos control i think the only time we've seen characters use it at the same time is in sonic 06 and we can jump through time what would happen if somebody else joins in like a fourth or third person can we split dimensions oh. Ex an example like my, in my opinion if we add somebody else like silver if we try it with three people we can possibly open the gates to the multiverse i just want to oh. see i want to pick your brains about what you might think might happen Oh, that's wow. Um, wow. That's, interesting. that's that's really a, a good that's one. Big brain right there. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's some deep thinking right there. I know. Mm -hmm. Nerd, I know. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, I, I love it. I, I love questions like that. That but it's yeah. all part of lore talk, so you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I know you like lore talk, so I was like, what is a good chaos intro is a really big thing that no you know, the games don't explore much anymore, so Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, you know, there, there's all sorts of possibilities that go when it comes to, you know, chaos energy. I, 
you know, chaos energy, I believe, is infinite when brought when enough of the emeralds are brought together. That's pretty much infinite um, energy right there. So uh, mm-hmm. when you, when you got when you got it with uh, more people uh, adding in, I mean, the possibilities really are endless to uh, paraphrase a, a, a particular song. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I, I ever since I, back in the day when I played Sonic 06 for the first time, I saw that um, the first portal they opened to go into the past, and I was like, this, this is great, this is genius. So uh, I, I was just wondering, I've never seen them, like, what I would think would happen if they go super and they use it at the same time. They probably would split dimensions or something. I mean, we've already seen Sonic and Shadow, you know, use chaos control to pretty much, you know, relocate the entire arc at this point. Yeah. yeah. And then Sonic, Shadow, and uh, Silver had to all come together just to stop a god, pretty much. Yeah. True. Yeah. And that's a trans, one that's, a trans-dimensional uh, creature. Yeah. That's uh. So yeah, that's 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 really you know some some great great uh, um things to be asking. There's always yeah. the potential that they could accidentally you know rip open the borders between dimension to a dimension they really don't want no part of. <laughs> oh, wow. then, then they can invade. Yeah. I mean, they you, t- you want to talk about the the ultimate what if. Right, that reminds me of the Archie comics where they mm-hmm. there's that, uh, what's, what is it called? The neutral, not the neutral zone, but the zone oh, where... Oh, the no zone? Ha- the no zone, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Where no zone. all the Nothing. branching pathways were... Every other gener- every other uh, version of Sonic characters live. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Th- I thought the the level in Sonic Force was where Sonic was actually running in the nothing. I mean, uh, say what you will about you know some of the writers right from the old Archie comic days, but. Archie com the Archie Sonic comics really has some deep deep lore going on and it- and I really oh, think oh heck yeah I really think mm-hmm. for better or for worse no matter what people say about certain writers I I think they all did a ter- terrific job uh building the world that they did and I think they deserve the credit for that you know yeah. no matter what people think of them nowadays and and you know what they did, that has nothing to do with the fact that they did a great job uh, world building with the original Archie Sonic, so. Yeah. There's, it's so detailed with the Archie comics. Uh, after the Great War arc, when Sonic goes to space, I'm not sure if you guys would know that. Yeah. That part. Um, yeah. They they basically tell us straight up that in the Archie universe, Sonic characters evolved to be anthropomorphic. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. To, a, to the point, you know, of, sent, uh, of sentience, and I thought it was so interesting. And uh, they explore a mo- much more, um, like, super-powered themes in, in, the, in the comics. Mm-hmm. Now, answer me this. <laughs> Between the current uh, uh, modern characters that um, can go uh, further beyond... Uh, so, like super forms who's the strongest this is the, this is the, the cliches who's the strongest question between blaze silver shadow and sonic in their super forms uh to be honest i'm going to have to say shadow because shadow has worked yeah. with chaos energy a lot more than any other person even with sonic even though sonic has you know collected the emeralds many times and you know use it uh shadow was pretty much born to use the chaos emerald was pretty much created to be able to use the chaos emerald so i think there's a distinct difference between sonic and shadow sonic would be second but shadow would be the strongest when it comes to using the chaos energy yeah 
I was, was going to say he was made. obligated to say shadow for fear of my own life. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he was built for it, so. That is true. Yeah, I I kind of have to agree with that because Shadow he knew how to use the chaos control, and Sonic didn't know that it was possible to do that until like when he saw it in action when he was sitting in a life and death situation he had to use the uh, was it it the was fake a camera. fake chaos yeah. camera. so that was my that he was able to to uh, chaos control right. I was I was just about to reference that moment because that was I was like, well, Shadow was made for it, but Sonic was able to use a fake emerald. What is, I don't know. What does that say? That, it was a fake emerald. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, plot right. armor. <laughs> yes, plot armor. Yes, plot armor. Yeah. Plot armor. Yeah. Which is funny you mention that because uh, in the sort of costume, people already hashtag and chaos blast the bot. <laughs> Well, this this has definitely been a very interesting uh, question from you, and I'm I'm super glad that you were able to join in and you know pick our brains a little bit regarding that sort of stuff. I, I definitely yeah. hope you're able to come back for future shows because I would love to hear more questions oh, yeah. from you regarding oh, this yeah. sort of oh, stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was here last week. Um, I've been a part of the Discord uh, for a couple and ever since. Uh, the convention yeah but i've never like i've never i haven't had time to like delve in to it until last week i actually made it to one of the shows uh and i was like oh this, this is cool we talked about uh shadow and watch that that's why i was like maybe i'll talk about it tonight but yeah we'll, we'll get to it in the future yes <laughs> when we got that, more time for that's sure not, that seems fair hmm. all, all right. right thank you very much knight for coming and uh we'll, we'll see you next time yeah of course Thank you for having Here. me. Thank you. Yep. All right, guys, that's all the time we got for tonight. It's uh, it's after midnight my time over here, and oh, yeah. my yeah. my body is screaming, go to bed. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that would that was a fun show tonight. I, yes, oh, yeah, for sure, indeed, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Maybe next week I'll actually have some news to uh, cover. Um, yeah, um, and, maybe, yeah. and maybe a guest. Maybe I guess, and yeah. We're really, um, really, really, really hoping we can get uh, Double Knight on, uh, depending if we can work out of time, because we were hoping to get her um, this this week, but uh, she was not available today. So hopefully next time. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like my my next open uh, day is going to be Friday the first of October. Oh, that will okay. work. Okay. Okay. I can okay. do that. Yeah. Alright, so Friday the 1st of October is going to be our next show. So, we will see you guys next week. Thank you for joining us. And remember, it's not radio, it's a revolution. And in this case, it's a revolution against the bots. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> from what's going on in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, guys. And we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.